Hi guys, Misty and Sherry here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Hi. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a secondhand Sunday for you all. And we are going to be creating a home decor piece using a piece that we picked up at the thrift store. This piece you did see in one of our hauls um, from the Goodwill. And we are going to be creating a bee skep or beehive um, with a very unexpected piece. So let's get into the video and we'll show you how we did it. Okay guys, so for today's project we are going to take this pink plastic totally 80s vase that you saw in one of our thrift store hauls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with some of this two times ultra cover paint and primer in black. It doesn't really matter that it's black um, because it's going to be covered, but there is a possibility that there could be a little show through. So I don't want it to be pink showing through and black wouldn't wouldn't matter black would be best or a natural kind of tan color but I don't have any of that today so we're going to use what we have on hand so I'm going to shake the paint really well and get this covered okay so now that I have it covered I just did one coat was plenty for this I'm going to let it dry and then we will move on to the next step. Okay guys, so I have our totally 80s pink vase spray painted black. And what I have is some of this Everbuilt um, sisal rope. This I picked up at the Home Depot. And there are, there's 50 feet on each one of these. So I have two, so we're gonna use those. I've got my hot glue gun and my Gorilla Glue glue sticks. And I think you may know where we're headed with this. We are going to do a bee skep or a beehive with this. Um, so many of you have commented to us on where you can purchase bee decor for your homes or how we come up with some of our bee decor ideas. So this video is going to be a video to show you how to think outside the box and take some of those thrift store finds and turn them into some excellent bee decor for your home. Okay, so I've turned the vase over and I'm going to start um, at the bottom and then work my way up to the top. And we are adhering this rope directly to the vase. This will not come off of here, it will be permanent. And we are going to leave this as a vase. So um, what I'm gonna do is, I applied a little bit of glue um, into the, the bottom end of the rope here because it wants to kind of fray. So I just put some hot glue down inside there and then just kind of pinched it and twisted it. And um, we show a lot more detail on how to prepare your rope in our bee skep tutorial. So if you're new to our channel and you haven't seen that video, we're going to link it in the description box below so that you can check that out as, as well. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to adhere this directly to the base. So I'm just going to apply some glue directly to the rope and then I'm going to put my rope right along the bottom here and you are using a hot glue gun so you always want to use safety and be careful because you can burn yourself so this is what it looks like here and I'm just holding my rope down enough that there will still be a flat surface for the vase to sit on when we turn it over so I'm just going to keep um, applying the glue directly to the rope here and then adhering it onto the vase. 
and we're gonna keep going around until we have this whole thing covered. So I'm gonna continue around here and then I'll check back in with you when I get partially up and show you how it's looking. Okay, so as you can see, I've wrapped the entire vase with my jute rope from Home Depot. And what we're going to do to make it look like a beehive or a bee skep is create a little opening. So I've just taken a piece of my rope and cut it to the length that I thought I wanted for the size loop that I wanted to create. And then I just welded the two ends together with some hot glue. And we are going to adhere this onto the front of the vase. And then we're going to paint the center of it in black so that it looks like an opening. And if you guys wanna see a full tutorial on creating the loop and uh, creating a, a bee skip itself, we do have a DIY video. I will link it in the description box below for you. And we want to thank all of our viewers um, that have watched that tutorial. We are over 34,000 views on um, that video and we have received so much wonderful feedback. So thank you to everyone that has watched, commented, liked, and shared. We really appreciate you all. And we are loving all of the photos of your bee skips that you are sharing with us on our social media um, pages, as well as emailing to us or sharing on the community platform here on YouTube. So please keep them coming. We love seeing what you're working on and what we've inspired you to create. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, let me see, I turned this to show you guys. So I wanna get my, my front. So the front of this is facing me and I'm just going to put a bead of hot glue all the way around my little loop here. And I have to say, if you've tried your hand at making one of the skeps and you weren't very successful, this is the easiest way to leave a form inside and create this because with the shape of this vase, look how perfect this turned out. And we actually are going to utilize this as a vase. I'm just going to hold this loop down just for a couple seconds to let the glue adhere. But yeah, we wanted to show you guys this too to help you um, think outside the box. When you're out yard sailing or thrifting or shopping at discount stores. Keep your eyes open for items that do have a beehive-like shape or a skip shape. And like mom said, just glue your um, rope or twine or whatever it is you guys want to use around and directly to um, the piece. And then you don't have to worry about getting it even. I mean, look how darling this is. So we've got our opening now. And you could do this with any decor. This is part one of our decor series. And this is how Misty and I create vignettes for our home. If we're going with a certain theme for a season, mm -hmm. we always just turn something else into what we need. And it's a real inexpensive way to have nice home decor. We started doing a lot of that when we had our brick and mortar store to, like mom said, create vignettes for our shop even. And um, we do a lot of this now for our vintage markets and booth spaces. And now that we are in Just Country Friends, we shared um, the video of our space in our last um, video. We create a lot of our own props and things for our vignettes. So, um, what we're going to do now is use just some of this inexpensive folk art chalk paint in the color black. Um, you can pick this up at Michael's. I know they have Waverly at Walmart and you can pick this up inexpensively. You can also just use some acrylic craft paint, um, but this was super handy and we just grabbed it. So I just have a little paint in the lid and I have just a flat head paintbrush craft paintbrush and I'm just going to put some paint on the paintbrush and then I'm going to 
try to make this, let me switch sides since I'm left-handed. <laughs> I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing here. There we go. So I'm just going to paint inside my ring here. I don't want to get it on the um, loop itself. So I'm just going to paint all of the inside of this black. It will create an illusion that that is the hole where the bees enter. And like I said, we have a more full tutorial on the bee skips that we'll link below. So yes, you, you may know now, I announced in the last video that we are going to start a DIY home decor series. And this is based on um, a lot of you have had um, questions and comments in regards to where we find and get our bee decor or how we are inspired to create some of our bee decor. So for this, of course, we were inspired by the shape of this not so pretty, totally 80s pink vase and this is like a weird it's kind of a weird foam like material it's not glass so it worked out really well it was super light but now that we've added the rope it has some substance to it so if you do want to use it for a vase it isn't going to tip over right i can't imagine that pink one with anything in it it was so lightweight so i'm just trying to make sure i get all my rope inside this loop covered we had a question on i can't remember who commented so i hope this answers your question if you're watching today where we got the lampshade and we're a little confused because we had the lamps with the bees stenciled on the shade and we um, purchased those on sale i can't even remember where we showed them in a hall they were at ross and we Misty actually painted some gold on the base and then we stenciled those cute bees on the shade. And the only other shades we had on our booth were some plaid shades that we purchased on a clearance sale at Target. At Target. Years ago. And I actually have those lamps with that particular plaid shade on it in my living room. So if that answers your question, to one of our commenters we hope we cleared that up for you and if it didn't please leave us another comment so we can be more specific with the answer okay guys so this is how it looks we are going to get this all staged for you and show you what it looks like with an arrangement in it so we'll be right back okay guys so We've staged our vase. Please don't criticize our floral arranging. We just threw these in here to give you guys an idea. Um, we didn't take the time to arrange these as we normally would, but we just wanted to show you what you could do with something like this. We have our little pot hanger bee that we picked up at Hobby Lobby. We just kind of stuck him into the, the rope. And up we have our little let it be sign from Hobby Lobby. And just a Okay guys, so you, um, sorry about the crash. You saw how pretty our backdrop looked though prior to that. So we are just gonna roll on. I was saying we just stuck another little bee skip here that mom had made to create a little outdoor vignette. So this is something that you could do with a piece like this inside your home, outside. Mom has a covered porch here. I have an outdoor like covered patio area in my backyard that I decorate and change up throughout the seasons. So you could do something cute like this out there. Um, you could actually hang that beautiful tray too <laughs> or something like it on your siding if you had a proper hook. <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't try to just, you know, I don't even know what we were trying to do. So anyway, but quickly before we go, oh, and now the dog is all wanting to be a part of the video. Um, I did want to share some happy mail with you. And this is from one of our subscribers, Lori, and she did send this to me a couple weeks ago. But I wanted to wait until we started, stop that. I wanted to wait until we started this series so that I could share it with you. So she has been so kind and thoughtful and generous. 
and she found this amazing Juicy Couture Bling B. So and cute. she said that she thought of us when she found this and couldn't resist so she picked it up and sent it to us so Lori thank you so much we absolutely love this and appreciate it and you could even attach something like this onto one of your skeps or if you know place it into one of your vignettes I have an idea for a use for this so you will see this again in some of our upcoming uh, videos maybe in one of the DIYs if not in our summer home tours so stay tuned for that and again Lori thank you so much we love and appreciate it and love and appreciate you so thank you guys um, all of you we appreciate all of you so much for watching and all of the wonderful comments that you leave for us. So this secondhand Sunday basically is going to kick off our DIY B home decor video series. So many of you have, like I said earlier in the video, commented and asked us, you know, where we find our decor and how we come up with some of the things that we do. So we thought that this would be a great way to share that with you guys. So we hope you enjoy it. It'll probably be about four or five videos that we do in this series, and then we will finish it off with our summer home tour um, videos. So we hope you guys will stick with us for that. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here on our channel, and, um, would like to follow us along on this creative journey, please consider hitting the red subscribe button in the box below as well as that notification bell so that you can be notified each time we upload a new video. And you can also follow us over on social media and Instagram. We are Queen Bees Vintage on both pages. So until next time, guys, we hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.